This position is an example of how Stockfish has ruined one aspect of chess. Let me explain what I mean by that. This was a puzzle that was created in 1959 by a man named Viktor Evrenov, if I'm pronouncing that correct correctly. He was a Russian composer who created over a hundred studies, and this particular one was a first prize winner. So they used to have these composing tournaments where different uh, chess players would submit composed problems. They had judges. The judges would look at all the different puzzles and then they would decide, okay, this is the best one. And this one won first prize in 1959. So there was something special about it, which I'm going to show you in just a second. However, when you plug this position into Stockfish, Stockfish finds a flaw with the solution. It says, nope, it doesn't work. And, and, you know, that is something that would not have happened back in 1959, okay? Chess engines, I believe they actually were invented. I think 1957 was the first year that there was a chess engine, but it ran on the mainframe. It took like eight minutes for one move. It would have never been able to solve a complicated uh, puzzle like this unless you let it, you know, run for a couple years or something. So prior to engines getting so strong, nobody would have found this, or at least I don't think so. I'm actually going to give you guys a chance to see if you can find the flaw in this puzzle as we go through it. So having said that, let's go ahead and jump into the puzzle and we'll talk more about some of these things as we go along. All right, so it's white to play and win according to the puzzle. Uh, white's pawns are going forward, black's pawns are going this way. What do you think the move was for white? And by the way, this is a really mind-boggling first move. So if you don't get this one, don't feel bad. But if you'd like to go ahead and, and take a try, what do you think white's move is here? Well, if you had a chance to do that, the move is rook to e4. And it's like, uh, what are we doing? Well, the main point behind this move is that we're unleashing the bishop. Okay, we're creating this really serious threat. We'd like to push this pawn forward and just checkmate the king. That's what we're doing. Now, it's weird because we're putting the rook where the pawn can take us. And it's with check. And so that's what black does. Takes it with check. And now we move our king somewhere. If you'd like to pause, where should we move our king to? If you had a chance to look at that, the move... And again, I'm following the puzzle solution here. But the move is king to g2 which is another weird move because you're staying in line with the queen. And after check, now we have to move our king again. And now the move, and I'll just tell you this one, is king to g1. And the point is that we've essentially gotten out of the checks and we have this crazy threat on black's king. We're going to push this pawn forward. Not only are we going to check the checkmate the king, then we're going to have this pawn ready to, to become a queen if we needed it. So... At this moment in the study, the solution, the rest of the line goes like this, bishop to f7. So black says, you know what, I'm not going to let you push the pawn, I'm just going to blockade it. Yes, you're going to capture it, but I don't care about that because I've successfully shut this down and then I'm going to simply take here and my queen's going to be able to come back and defend. So here's how the puzzle went. f8, queen, black takes it. We play f7, check with our bishop. Black's queen goes to g7, which is also a check, and it's attacking our bishop. Now, if we take it, that doesn't really help us. The king is going to get our pawn. Black has two pawns. This is actually going to be a draw. We're going to be able to take this one with our king. Black's going to take this. It's a draw, but we don't win. However, we have a move here, which is fascinating. What's the move here for white? Well, if you had a chance to look at that, the move is king to h2, and the point is is that we are leaving the pin. So we had to get out of the check. So we're, we're leaving the pin here with our bishop and we're gonna play F8 queen next move and black's not gonna be able to take us. So for example, if they push this pawn, we simply get a queen and it's checkmate. The queen is pinned, right? And if black decides to take our bishop, same thing's gonna happen. It's still checkmate, right? Doesn't matter. Notice it was important that we move to H2, not to H1, because we didn't want this to be check. So we had to get off of the, the first rank. So. Pretty amazing, right? P pretty nice move. However, like I mentioned, there is a flaw in the study. So I'm going to go back. And at some point along the way, so let me just refresh your memory. We played rook here. Black captured with check. We went here. Black pushed the pawn with check. We went here. Black played bishop f7. We took it. Black captured here. We got the queen. And then we pushed and played king to h2 for the win. Somewhere along the way, there was a flaw. There's a flaw. So would you, if you would like to pause or, you know, go back 
through these moves. I'm going to put the, the position down below. Feel free to check that out on an empty board yourself. Uh, don't, don't look at Stockfish yet. Just try to think through it. But what do you think the flaw was in this puzzle? Go ahead and take a minute to do that. When you're ready, come back here and then we'll, we'll keep going. All right, so hopefully you had a chance to look through that on your own. Maybe you came up with an idea. But here is the flaw that Stockfish finds. After we go here, captures, we go back, pawn goes forward, we go back. Instead of bishop to f7, Stockfish says, no, 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 queen to a4. You just attack the bishop. And here's what I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking, how did a first prize study that was in a tournament, he had all these people like analyzing it to you know judge the how did nobody question this move? So I'm wondering, did was there some idea that the composer had where he thought, oh, if this happens, you just simply move your bishop and you're fine? Like, is that what they were thinking? Or like, like what's going on? Because here's the thing: if you push f7 check, the queen's just gonna take it. So this is a serious threat. And so I don't I just don't understand how was this missed. You know what I mean? Stockfish, of course, finds it like immediately, like, oh yeah, this is winning for black. Um but nobody saw it, apparently, and I don't know if they were planning on just, like, moving the bishop somewhere, and they thought that, like, you could move it to safety and still win. But Stockfish says, no, you can't, and there's a different reason, but, like, in this case, you just keep attacking it, right? You got to move it somewhere. Let's say you go back here, and then the queen can go check, and then, what is it, check? And the qu basically, the queen just kind of keeps checking you and keeps taking stuff and keeps attacking your bishop, and ultimately, it's a win for black. You, white just can't win. So... When I say stockfish ruin chess, what I mean is, you know, back in 1959, people would have looked at this puzzle and said, wow, that's amazing. Uh, that's really cool. White wins. Awesome position. Nowadays, I pulled it up. I'm going through it and I'm like, it's not a, it's not a win. It's not a win. Black actually wins because queen a4. And so going back to the original position, stockfish actually says this should be a draw. And it, it doesn't even mention this this rook sacrifice because of the queen a4 thing. And so it just says you play f7 right here, and then black takes it, and you take it, and black moves, and you play rook to f4 check, d4 check. This is kind of an interesting line too. Uh, the king moves to f2, and then black blockades the pawn. And after this, we get this sort of like... Uh, like a fortress type of position where white's probably just going to kind of sit here and run the king around and black can't really make progress because of the past pawns, but white can't really force these out of the way because of the queen. And so you end up getting a draw according to Stockfish, queen h6, king g3. I don't know how long this line goes, but you get the idea. That's the, the best play. So I thought that was fascinating. I was expecting this to be like a really nice puzzle. I saw, oh, first prize puzzle. And then I found out that it, you know, wasn't because of the uh, the queen a4 idea so let me know your thoughts hopefully you guys enjoyed that and i'll see you in the next one stay sharp play smart take care